Hey, what's going on, people? This your boy Ace from 4 Gaming. Just wanted to make another video. I really wanted to talk about a couple of things, but mainly I wanted to talk about what's been going on with Skyrim. I know I had a couple of videos before saying, "Okay, this is that, and that is this, and all of that," and I just I just stopped making videos trying to tell you guys the problem because I could I can show you right now. I've actually been working hard on getting Skyrim uh, prepared. This right here is a mod list. Of course, we probably know that this is mod organizer for Skyrim. I put a lot of time into the, the to ordering these mods individually. So much time that I actually um, got all of the mods here in such an order that all of these mods to a certain point, I can't remember exactly which mod it is, but to a certain point like let's say let's say I'm getting to it right now just bear with me uh, let's say about here so every mod that's above this is script free no scripts no problems no issues and what that means is that because before I used to just not organize it and not even you know just do I would order organize a load order and I make sure loot was ran and all of that bash patches and all everything I needed to do with that make sure that was fine but I never really did this and this you don't need to do this this is an optional thing this is just for organizational purposes it has no real effect on you know crashes and everything um, this is just the priority uh, order you know this is like for textures and trying to get your textures on point and everything but the main thing I'm trying to say right now is that this side right here this entire side like from that bottom part well I think it was better vampires and up there's no scripts in none of these mods so what that make that's what that does for me is that it narrows mods down when I'm testing if there's a conflict with scripts, if there's a problem with scripts, then I can easily boom, boom, boom. I don't have as much script mods as I do uh, just like textures and graphical mods. So I can just go down real quick, boom, 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 I got a problem with this. Now if you notice, I really, like I just said, I don't have that much script mods. So even some mods down here that, that could have been... Um, you know activated is not activated because these these I had some some issues that it might have been a problem so um, those are like kind of in the it may or may not work you know I'll get to it I'll test it out when I get the time to but these up here the ones that check every single one of these mods that are checked are solid at least for my test solid for a non crash um, testing of the game now the problem is with that is I'm talking about in terms of scripts the problem with that is I, <clears throat> I was testing the other day <clears throat> excuse me and I um, basically when I was testing my mods and everything uh, actually I've, I've, I've been on and off testing since probably January since that video that I made to say that I'm going to be uh, starting my playthrough soon or whatever I've been testing since then I actually in Adobe Premiere down here I uh, built out an intro um, I actually wrote, I even wrote a short story on um, my next character I guess I don't want to there's no, it's no point in hiding it now because um, you know it's been so long the jagged the new jagged thorn 2016 playthrough um, I actually I had I took a screenshot of them I went in Photoshop I made a nice little picture I wrote some uh, a short story just to kinda get you get some backstory on the character before I start playing with them uh, everything was just well thought out well done everything and then I started to um, to test it and then I ran into uh, some more crashes and I'm like okay alright well let me just start deactivating uh, the problem mods the mods that could you know the script mods and the ones that can cause problems bam I deactivate those alright so bam I, I deactivated those mods but I'm still having issues why am I still crashing when 
I know for a fact that none, there's no skip script mods activated. Um, I even deactivated the audio mods because I heard those can give you trouble sometimes. I'm running right now a, a 980T GTX 980Ti. You know, 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, the whole uh, I, I got a 4770K. Um, at at the end of the day, I'm loaded enough for for Skyrim, even the modded Skyrim. Now here's the kicker: I don't use EMB. I don't even have EMB now. Now if you look up here, this is the sketchy scripts that allow for you to go past the um, the limitations of the game. And there are some more things I got in place to do that, like the EM boost and all that. So I got every possible thing that you could possibly get to make the game run stable. I have that installed. So why is it still crashing? See, that's the type of thing that'll make you not want because you put. It's not like you're just, uh, you're just just clicking these mods, activating them, and that's the end of the thing. No, you put in hours. If you look at my, uh, let's go down to Steam really quick. And try to open that up. If you look at my hours on Skyrim, I'm gonna show you the hours, and you can be like, "Wow, you play way too much Skyrim." But I'm gonna tell you right now those hours I would say 75 percent of those hours are just testing it's not even playing the game I literally only beat Skyrim one time ever I didn't do all of the side quests I didn't do um, I didn't do I didn't finish I started but then never finished the Dark Brotherhood quest I uh, I did the companions the Thieves Guild I never even touched I did the College of Winterhold, but that was after the fact. That was like later down the road. If you could check my achievements and everything too. Um, let's go to Skyrim right here. Bam. One thousand one hundred and sixty-four hours. That's crazy, right? I probably played, play, actually sit down and play the game. I probably played sixty-four hours out of that of sitting down and actually playing the game or the, the the other thousand hours or whatever I'm sorry 164 probably would have been my play time and even that's questionable but that extra thousand hours was going in the creation kit and trying to mod learning to mod like that was years ago I was trying to learn how to mod and I spent a lot of time on that um, it's constantly because I used to use Nexus uh, mod manager constantly trying to get load orders to work uh, start and playthroughs, but come to find out it's either save file issues or it's constant crashes or whatever. You do the things that they tell you to do to make the game run better, and it still gives you problems. So I basically came to the conclusion that Skyrim it just wasn't built well. It's a known fact that the engine itself has a lot of limitations. And when you try to go past that, those limitations, you start running into problems. Now, the thing with me is we are in 2016 right now. This is not a time to play Skyrim without mods. Of course, you're going to play Skyrim with mods 2016. Of course, you're going to try to push it as much as you can. But the game wasn't built for that. So there will be always problems. Uh, let me see if I can go to where's my screenshots. I'm gonna try to go to my screenshots really quick. I can't remember where those things are at. I think it's content. Yeah, that's it right there. See, this is this is uh, pretty much what Jagged Thorn was going to look like. Uh, he's gonna be an utter beast. Yep, that's him right there. I don't have a, a actual close up. I don't think I do. But uh, I took a really nice picture of a Monic Skyrim. It looked really good. This right here. Like, it's just... When you see that... When you see it in game on, a, like, the 4K TV. I don't play in 4K. I play at 1440. But just just uh, the, the sheer amount of detail and quality. It just looks like in a completely new game. It looks really good. 
but you run into issues you know you run into to problems you think you got everything solved and boom a crash now you're spending even more hours trying to fix find and fix the crash you t you feel like you fixed it again boom another crash so what I think I'm going to end up doing I'm not going to I'm not going to quit on it what I'm going to end up doing is I am going to just rely on my editing rely on uh, Adobe Premiere so when I start recording the way I'm gonna it's not gonna be your traditional let's play where you see a continuous play I just hit the record and you're gonna see a continuous play it's gonna be some cuts some chops it's gonna be all of the inter interesting moments bundled together but it's not gonna be um, you know it's gonna be cut up it's gonna be edited so what that does for me is that I don't have to stress myself about crashes if I crash reload the game pick up where I left off um, and just edit that part out of the video and redo it and put whatever one that actually works whatever part that actually works put that in the video and just leave it at that and not even trouble myself over it because it's a really good game even up until now it's a really good game to play to go back and play and like I said a lot of content that that's in this game I haven't experienced as a matter of fact I even show you my achievement list and you be like for Skyrim the guy that used to be for Skyrim that's all you achieved in Skyrim most of these achievements were back in uh, what 2012 I had one that was in 2015. I just can you believe that? I literally just got the uh, started to get the Dawn Guard achievements in 2015. In 2014, 2014, I got the thousand gold. I mean, a hundred thousand gold, which I think with that, that was just doing console commands because I was doing some testing. I wasn't trying to cheat to get the achievements because I care less about achievements. But this is just to put in perspective on how much achievements that I actually earned this game 36 out of 75 36 out of 75 achievements that's not even half the achievements for this game that I've earned like I say I could I'm gonna go down right now you're gonna see you're gonna literally see and achievements don't lie I can say I could tell you all day about oh I did this and that but achievements don't lie it's automated if I did this it would show up I've never played Dawn Guard didn't even touch it uh I'm, I'm not sorry I'm sorry I said Dawn Guard Dragonborn I didn't even touch it as a matter of fact I was in the military when Dragonborn came out didn't even touch it Dawn Guard I never finished you see this Oreos bowl that's a Dawn Guard achievement for I think finishing Dawn Guard don't have it I never reached level 50 you would think that I didn't do all the Daedric quests so there's a lot of stuff for me personally I know you see these guys on YouTube and they say oh I had over you know over a thousand hours two thousand hours of Skyrim and I'm burnt out on Skyrim because I played it to death no I'm not that guy I didn't play Skyrim to death I tested it to death if that's an achievement do they got achievement for test to death that's catchy too <laughs> nah I'm just messing but really at the end of the day a lot of this stuff look hell sister that's a dark brotherhood a lot of the stuff I haven't even done there's no cheating that there's no saying oh well you know I'm going to manipulate it so I can show you got no steam would literally show you if you have an achievement whether you offline online whatever so I'm telling you the truth I have not done this period so there are some stuff that I do want to go back and, and fully experience the game but I keep getting trapped in this 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 cycle it's just like a never ending cycle I start to I say okay I'm going to commit a week to, to, to trying to get Skyrim to run good okay I got this week down okay that week turns into two weeks the two weeks that by the end of the second week I'm over here frustrated because I, I felt like I made progress, but 
uh, it, it's showing that I, and then you might be like oh well you're, you're just an idiot or whatever I know everything about what you need to do to make Skyrim run good I know about the uh, the memory patch I know about I'm talking about the not even I'm talking about the Shessons memory patch I'm not even talking about the Ian boost that's the the VRAM memory patch but I'm talking about the, the other memory patch um stuff like you know adding uh any settings any tweaks you name it i've done it i i at least try to do it and and make it successful i feel like i got a pretty good bill as a matter of fact i'm going to see if i could run the game right now from here to give you guys an opinion and hopefully your video shadow play usually keeps recording so let's try that so you could at least get a good look at the game and by the way, thank you for uh, continuing to watch this video. Thank you for continuing to support me. I see people putting in my comments that they miss me. I see people putting in my comments, where you at? R.I.P. He was a good man. <laughs> R.I.P. He was a good YouTuber. R.I.P. The most underrated YouTuber of all time. You know? So there's a lot of things. See, there I go again. Wasn't lying about the 980 Ti see it right there at the top so let's load I usually have like a test let's see I think this one is I usually have like a um, see what the problem is this thing is gonna try to run at 60 frames per second I don't even think I I'm in 1440p right now I think I might be in 4k so this thing might run atrociously But anyways, let me. I already started this, so let's see. Let's see where it's gonna go. Oh no, no, no! It looks like 1440. I could tell by how big my little meter at the top left. How big that looks. If it's like really small, then it's 4K. But um, I got pretty much all of the best graphical mods. As a matter of fact, with this game, I actually handpick a lot of the textures says I'm getting 60 frames per second oh yeah 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 I optimize it you're gonna see you're gonna see this you're gonna look at this and you're gonna be like man oh shoot I can't TGM right now because of my keyboard no oh, you know what hold on let me see no that's not gonna work neither I got some profiles on my keyboard that won't let me like the tilde key is, is something else it's it's like one of those razor synapse apps but anyways a lot of this stuff is custom made meaning that I, I handpicked a lot of these textures these are not these are from Mars of course I didn't create the textures but I handpicked them and placed them where they needed to go not all of them some of them are I got a real peculiar system because I you know I actually uh, care about the way you know the game looks the way it can runs the way it plays and stuff like that because uh, my channel was basically built off of this game so I feel like it needs to be at the highest possible potential now can you imagine that this is not EMB I'm gonna put this in perspective for you when I have EMB installed cause I there's a way for you to install the EMB and then you can toggle it on and off when I have EMB installed this game looks almost identical now without it being installed thanks to the purity mod the purity mod it just does wonders it does it makes nights really dark how it's supposed to be make makes the days great makes the waterfalls look good it's just a whole bunch of things that the mod does that's great i won't try to avoid these worlds so i don't get killed so, so early on i may or may not have any difficulty mods but i don't want to take the risk because i want to show you guys how like what I've been working on what all that hard work is for another issue I have is that I will optimize it to be because it's not about only about getting script to work and everything it's about optimizing too and what I mean by that is getting the game to look as good as possible and run as good as possible that is what takes a lot of the time that is what makes you pull your hair out of your head because 
there's a lot of trial and error involved. There's a lot of, you know, let me try to get this game right. Right now, I can't even play this game on um, under 60 frames per second. So I made sure that I got it to a place where it really, um, for the most part, is hitting at 60. And like I do those those speed runs that you see some people do for testing in their videos. I do those. I mean, it's just so much stuff. I think that's from the monster mod. Uh, I think I even did a nice little. This thing doesn't kill you though. As crazy as it looks and as odd as it looks, I think it's just replaces the mud crab. But you would think that 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 crazy looking creature goes to try to attack you. So I think that would have been a nice creepy enemy to uh, to attack. But yeah, look at this. It just I got it to the point that it's just it looks really good and it runs really good. You might be like, okay, great. So go ahead and start the playthrough. Yeah, but oh shit. <laughs> My own arm actually creeped me out. I thought that was the fucking Does this did this spider spit any kind of acid? Like the other ones? I'm telling you, man, I might die on like one hit. So that's why I'm being really careful right now. On where I'm trying to go. And I don't have any kind of console commands to get out of this but anyways like I've done a lot to get this game looking good running good playing good gameplay is good and um it still has the occasional crash and you're like why why is it crashing what did I do to, to cause this crash I didn't do anything to cause this crash you know, this is uh, this is white run right here. My white run and my uh, just the landscape is probably look more different from most of the mods you've seen. You're probably seeing these little white uh, flowers in another mod, but it's not the way the way that I have it looking right now because all of these are just these uh, textures right here is just custom for the most part. Well. That's in terms of the way I placed them. Oops. Thanks to you. No, I don't want to talk to you right now. Dang, I keep hitting that to run. I think it's LB to run, I guess. Keep clicking in the left stick. But I just want, want you to get a good idea of how the game is going to look. Uh, okay, good. I finally hit a button that actually worked the first time. But yeah. It just looks great, right? Runs great. If I if I got into a battle with a bunch of people, it'll run fine. So running is not the problem. Scripts are not the problem. If I was having problems with scripts, it would be lagging. Every couple of seconds. If I was having a problem with scripts, because scripts only, most of the scripts nowadays, back in the day, modders used to make their scripts run all the time but most of the scripts nowadays they only have it run at certain periods of time and they, they just do a, a really good job at at um, the scripting and everything right and that's the mods that I have like I don't I don't even go for older mods I always try to find update up-to-date mods and everything so right now of course it's going to run as best as it can for you guys it amazes me that Remember back in the day when you used to use fraps or some type of recording software and it'll bring down your frame rate? It's, it amazes me how Shadowplay can do all of that, can go from the desktop to the game without any performance hit. It's just crazy. At great quality, too. Oh, yeah, another thing is I decided I'm playing at 1440. I was planning on doing, like, play at 1440 and upload at 4K. Um, but I decided to change that to uh, 1080p. So I'm gonna just play it at 4 1440, but uh, upload the videos at 1080 to be able to put out the videos faster. 1080 videos are so fast. They like I'm talking about when you edit them and you render it, and then when you go from rendering to what's that? Okay, it's a bush. 
uh, when you go to rendering to um, to uploading on YouTube everything about 1080p is fast and I can get it to you guys faster and it still looks good on YouTube and on top of that 4k on YouTube I didn't realize that it actually pushes like stresses pe your computer a lot just to watch the video which is crazy to me because I thought it was a, since it's pre-rendered it wouldn't do that but it's a whole nother thing but yeah I got I got the the monster mod running with this game along with see you see that little old girl over there or whatever that is Cyclops um, I got that running along with the monster mod running with the immersive creatures so you uh, you're gonna see both mods running together in my playthrough in a great way and the good thing is that I actually spoke to Dogtown. Uh, Dogtown is actually on my Steam friends list, the creator of the Monster Mod. So I talk to him every now and again, uh, see, check in with him, see what's going on, if he's modding anything, anything. And uh, yeah, he told me how to pretty much custom customize my load order. I mean, not load order. I'm sorry. Customize the creatures that spawn from these mods, so you won't. In my playthrough, you want you're not going to see any um, non-lore friendly creatures because I'm very um, harsh when it comes to that type of thing. I don't want the Neckers from Witcher or the, the Drowners from Witcher to see. Look, this is a, a pretty big battle going on. Not too big, but as you can see, the frame rate has been dropping. Um, I probably could optimize it better, a little better, to keep that 60. But this doesn't bother me too much because I don't really feel it like that. What are your thoughts on all this? It's the times that the game actually stutters and slows down and all of that stuff, and pretty much stop. Those are the times that that bothers me. But yeah, I mean, what more can I say? I got the game in a in a great place right now. Um, it has been for a while. Actually, it has been like this for about two months. The reason why I haven't been doing it in the past two months is because I actually haven't had the time to start doing a video. Because I I initially thought I was going to be doing the whole 4K thing. I was going to you know do the and those things take forever. They take forever to get the 4K videos uploaded and looking good. Um, but now that I'm like okay. 1080p I'm content with it now because that's what pretty much every website uses now anyway and we're not at the point technology wise where we're getting super fast rendering and uploads at those resolutions that's probably why nobody wants to do it or ever does it man this this, this game looks good even the moon is custom made like I went and got that from a month like I literally got a moon from one mod because there's two moons in this game I got a moon from one mod that that I really liked and then I went and got another moon, moon from another mod that I really liked so you might say damn dog, you, you you obsessed of course I'm obsessed I gotta be obsessed I gotta be obsessed with it. and when it comes to this game when that's what this channel was basically made on you know what I'm saying that's what the people wanted at the time and this is what I want too I like the game it's a real fun game. So now it really just falls on uh, getting, having the time to do it, putting everything in place. Uh, if you, I'm gonna just exit out of it right now. You guys got the gist of how it looks. Um, getting my channel, my YouTube channel, where I wanted to be, because. And that's another thing. I thought I was going to have to. Oh, I'm going to have to set aside a lot of time on um, uh, editing the videos. I had to spend a lot of time on that too. Um, and and creating a new intro and creating this and that. But honestly, I'm like, okay, I could just find a quick template online that's royalty free and and work with that for now until. I get to that time where I feel like I need a, a better intro and all that. Sometimes I like I over uh, exaggerate things. 
I don't need this damn uh like the best intro in the world. I just need to get the content out. So I'm focused on doing that. I know this is a long ass video, and you probably didn't stay to the end. You probably didn't. But if you do, uh, lucky you because the first big chunk of this video was me talking. So you probably didn't see the gameplay. Uh, or the person that didn't watch it to the end probably didn't see the gameplay section. So lucky you. But anyways, uh, I know you're curious about this Star Citizen video I posted up. Yeah, I played Star Citizen. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent. Like I, I, I believe in the game. I believe that it's it's going to be a really good game eventually. It's going to take a while to get there, but I believe it's going to. And the, and the graphics in the game is just on another level. It's just on another level. The, what they doing with that game is just ridiculous. So. Uh, you might see some of those videos. That's why I rebranded my channel to For Gaming instead of having to ask for Skyrim. If you notice in this this picture right here, I got the Nuka Cola for Fallout. To kind of say I play those type of games. I wanted it to be subtle though. I didn't want it to be all in your face. Like, oh, I got this big Brotherhood of Steel guy or this big Dover King on my poster no I wanted everything to be subliminal and I wanted everything because I did all this in Photoshop and I want everything to be uniform so the color scheme uh, when it comes to the color scheme when it comes to um, just the, the theme of it the theme of it was you know uh, quench your thirst with gaming you know so I got this Nuka Cola thing then I got the Skyrim. I made the Skyrim. I keep calling it the Imperial Signal. I remember, man, on one of my old videos, somebody was like, I can't believe he called it the Skyrim symbol. The Imperial symbol. I know what the hell it is. It's just sometimes you don't, you don't even think about specifics. You just say things. That's just part of life. But anyways. Uh, yeah, this, this Loch Ness Skyrim. Tamriel Cyrodiil symbol, symbol, Imperial symbol. I got him poking out the water, almost as if he was a Loch Ness monster. Then I put a little splash right there, like he just popped out of the water. You know, I went and took the Star Citizen ship, which you probably didn't notice. This entire time, I'm pretty sure most people haven't noticed that I took a literal ship. This is a ship right here. This is the Super Hornet. I took the ship and I bended it and purposely made it look like water and then I went I play, I, at the time I played World of Warships so I put the World of Warships ship at the end of the wave and then right here if you look very very closely you'll see a lightsaber like a hand holding a it's not even a hand it's a skeleton hand holding a lightsaber the show that I, I like uh, Star Wars too so and I'm probably going to be playing Star Wars games when they act, good ones actually come out on this channel uh, so that's that's pretty much where I'm at right now I know it's a long video um, but I'm going to try to make the time over the weekend to finalize what I need to do to get this playthrough rolling and start doing other videos because I really want to do a Skyrim video first before I start doing other videos um, and I'm kind of anxious to do other games too but it's almost like Skyrim is the blocker but it's not a blocker because I like it if that made any sense but um, yeah I really appreciate the support for the people that are still interested even until today even though you've seen all those videos you know telling you what it is and you're like okay but where's the content but you still stuck with me that's a big deal and like I said, I appreciate all that. So with that being said, just look out for me. Um, and I look out for you. Peace.